Good morning, gang. Happy Sunday morning. Okay. So, I've been promising you this one for a few days now here, and a few of you have asked me uh, a couple of times, but I don't know about anybody else. First off, you know, on Sundays, I kind of like to calm it down a little bit. And considering we did a live stream last night, so you all got to ask me all those fun questions, but uh, wanted to discuss this morning, go back to the gardening thing, because, you know, you seem to have questions there. And I know I've had a few people ask me about arrow gardens. Uh, Rudy did a good video on it, and I can see where it's useful for Rudy, especially, you know, in his climate or something like that, because, I mean, he's got, what, about a three-month grow season, and that's it, if he's lucky. For the rest of us, uh, at least in the, the contiguous 48, uh, for the most part, we have a longer grow season than he's got up in Alaska. So, you know, we can grow outside and get a good harvest and everything. But, you know, as we talked in videos earlier this week, you know, it's getting time to start doing our, uh, seeds, talked about the, uh, how to make your seed starter mix. So hopefully you guys saw all that, if you know, you want to do that, but you know, then we come into how to do it. And I know people have talked about, you know, well, gee, I put all my seeds in a window or something like that. And, I mean, and that's fine. You know, it, if it works, the problem is, you know, most of us have some sort of sunscreen tinted windows or whatever to keep the houses from getting too hot. So that doesn't let the sun in, uh, you know, then unless you've got a huge panel of windows, there's not a whole lot of plants that you can get in front of your windows. And the third problem that a lot of us, a lot of you have all, probably always had putting them in a window is your, your seedlings get very leggy. Okay. As in, you know, real thin, tall, because they're reaching for the sun. Okay. So hence comes in grow lights. And, you know, you guys have all heard of this and seen stuff online that you can buy and everything. Now, I want to, I want to explain something first about grow lights. Okay. If you're planning on planting outside, you don't need to spend all the money, you know, the massive amounts of do dollars on the ones that have the infrared the, and the ultraviolet lights, you know, the red and blue dots and everything like that, LEDs and all this sort of stuff. If you're planning on growing stuff indoors only, yes, you need those, okay? Because you need both spectrums of light, the ultraviolet and the infrared to, for plants to set fruit, okay? So if you're growing tomatoes inside, you're going to need both those colors to get it to grow tomatoes. If you're just starting seeds, like I am, to get it uh, ready to plant outside, there's no need whatsoever to spend all that kind of crazy money on infrared and ultraviolet lights. Okay, A typical bright white light is fine. Now, there is a catch. All right, You need to have enough lumens and enough watts, okay? So you need to have a minimum of 2,000 watts and a minimum of 5,000 lumens, okay? You're trying to get as close to daylight as you can. And that's what I wanted to show you guys because I can build a, what is this? Uh, three by four, I guess three by four, so 12 square foot, uh, grow light, if you will, for about 50 bucks, right? And I know those little arrow gardens or whatever, you get about one square foot for, what is it, 120 bucks or something like that. So, you know, if you're, and, you know, again, what I'm going to show you is great if you just want to grow greens, you know, if you're fine with just the greens, if you're growing lettuce or microgreens or something like that, this is a hell of a lot cheaper way to do it. Okay. If you're trying to get something to fruit, you know, tomatoes, peppers, whatever it would be, you do need the other two lights. So, like I said, you're looking for as close to daylight as you can in these lights. And I'll put the link down to the bulbs that you can get, uh, the ones that I use. And I just got a second set uh, so I can build a second one because I need more space to grow more seeds this year. So my camera drops there. Uh, so, of course, tighten it down a little bit. Nope, it's the wrong way. Uh, let's get it tight. All right, so we'll do this. So I want to show you real quick 
what I built. And I mean, this is about as simple as you can possibly get uh, to the point of basically you need a couple of two by fours and the lights. So let me flip this over and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so if you look here, what you'll see is there's six LED, they're not fluorescent, they're just LED lights and attached to two by fours. Okay, and the, each one of the sides where they're attached is three feet long. They're six apart, six inches separated. And then there's one bar across the center that holds the two two by four. So basically I'm making an H, okay? And if you notice on each one of the sides, there is a extension of the two by four. That's there for a reason, because what you're trying to do, and I'm gonna flip this over because you don't need to see this anymore, I guess. What you're trying to do when you start seeds is you want to have them only a couple inches away from the plants. So if you, you know, have your seed tray and it's, let's say this tall, and I'll try to be in the center so you can see me, you know, you're going to put your light, I mean, literally right here. So it's an inch or two above the top of your seed tray, because what you're trying to build are strong, stocky plants, not tall, leggy plants. And you're going to keep that light on for somewhere between 16 and 18 hours a day to start. Okay, that's up to you. All right, I put mine on, you know, Christmas tree timer and, you know, lamp timer. And just leave it in the room. It stays under the lights. Timer comes on. And, you know, comes on at 6 in the morning, stays on until midnight, shuts off. You know, because then it's dark. I mean, obviously, you're going to get some daylight in there unless you're putting doing all this in a closet. But... That way, they get a chance to grow. Now, that's the light part. And, you know, as the plants get a little taller and they start getting close to the light, you want to move the light up a couple inches and a couple inches. Or whatever. You're not going to put the light, you know, three feet away because you're doing no good. You're just getting leggy. So you're just going to keep rising it. I use whatever is going to hold those two extensions on my two by fours above. So, you know, start out with a couple of two by fours or two by six or whatever on the side. And I'll move it up. Maybe it's now a two by 10. Then I'll move it up. Maybe it's on a couple of five gallon buckets. You know, whatever is going to keep me a couple inches above the tops of my seedlings. And that will help them stay strong, build, you know, good stocky bases to them. So, like I said, you know, go out. I mean, you don't have to use two by fours. They just work for me. I'm the new ones. I'm going to build around two by threes because that's what I've got laying around. Okay. Any sort of scrap wood you want to use. Got some scrap PVC around? Use that. Just drive a couple of bolts through the PVC, make your H out of the PVC, and attach the lights. The lights come just with a little couple of snap-on clips. You screw it in, snap the light in, you're good. They're all daisy chained together. Real simple. Now, the other thing, bear with me here. Sorry, it probably would have been better if I had this ready, but a heat mat, okay? And again, this is just, yeah, as I knocked my tripod over, this is just a two, by, two foot by five foot heat mat, dirty from last year, okay? And this will warm up your seeds to about 80 degrees, okay, from the bottom. And for growing something like peppers or eggplant, you're going to need heat underneath them because they won't germinate until they're about 75, 80 degrees. I'll put a link to a heat mat on uh, the description of this video as well. So, you know, with, with the heat mat that size, I can probably germinate, uh, what, maybe about 50, 50 plants in the square cells that I use. Uh, and under a three by four uh, light like this, I can easily germinate, uh, what, two, four, six, and probably near a hundred plants, okay? So maybe even more than that. I'm using different cups this year. So, but last year I germinated, God knows everything I had. And this year I'm doubling the size of my lamps. So, you know, try this. 
it'll it'll get you off to a good strong start with your seedlings. Uh, you know, if you want to try if you want to try the sunlight thing, go ahead. Like I just warn you, you're going to get tall, leggy plants that are going to fall over real quick. You've all seen that before. Your seedling just goes blink and it's laying in the dirt when you get up in the morning. But this is basically how to start your seedlings on the cheap. You know, okay, fine. You got to pay fifty bucks for six lights, but it's not like they're going to rot. Okay. So, you know, I bought them last year. Great. I use them this year. So now my cost is $25 a year or they're $50. No, yeah, $25 a year. Next year will be what? $17 a year, whatever it would be. You know, they're light bulbs. They're going to last. So they're LEDs. So they hardly use any electricity. So thought I'd give you that one as an easy one and we'll go from there. Uh, hope you guys are having a good weekend. It's obviously been crazy. So have a good one, y'all. And we'll out.